from 21 Sports, this is Penguin Game Day, driven by Greenwood Chevrolet, Austin Town. Penguin Game Day starts now. And hi, everybody. It is another edition of Penguin Game Day as we come to you from inside the Watts on this Wednesday night on in the middle of the season where the Penguins sit 2-6. and six. And Coach, I know the record doesn't indicate, but your team is getting better week by week. Yeah, now we just got to put it together. And again, we're fighting for those victories. And if you look at your, your schedule, I mean, you guys have played... I don't have to tell you, you guys have played some pretty good teams. Yeah. Villanova, number six, South Dakota State, number one, South Dakota, number four, North Dakota comes to town, number seven. Yeah, thanks for reminding <laughs> me. But, you know, we do. We know the schedule we have. We know the competition we have. We know the challenge. And, you know, and that's why the practice, the preparation, you know, it, it's got to be spot on. And we tell our kids, and our kids will answer me the same way. Great week of practice, great planning, great practice. What does that give you? It gives you a chance. Then you got to put it together for four quarters. You know, have you changed anything during the practice routine? No, not at all. You, you know, we might have tweaked here, and you know, I'll I'll see what our defense needs, what our offense needs. Uh, you know, but we go in each week. You know, consistency I think is very big. Even if you're winning, you're losing. You find different things that maybe the kids need or the coaches need. But otherwise, our Tuesday, Wednesday practices are pretty much the same. Well, let's take a look back at Saturday because the Coyotes of South Dakota were in town. And, and Coach, things started out really well. I think you had a 12-play drive, backed it up with a 13-play drive, and, you know, you're up 14 nothing. We knew we had to start fast. You know, we wanted to play fast, play physical. And also, you know, we, had, we, we kind of defined play. I wanted the kids to enjoy. And I thought in that first half, you saw enjoyment of playing the game of football. You know, uh, the long drives, uh, you took the ball, which uh, at the coin toss, usually you defer, but you took the ball. We took the ball. We said, you know, we want to put our offense on the field, feeling we could get first downs. And when you get first downs, sometimes those turn into touchdowns, it's especially when you have an explosive play on those drives. And we were able to do that our first two drives. Coach, we just saw the field goal from last over that bounced. And you took points off the board, and we asked you about that Saturday. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> Not a great decision, you know, I, and it, to me, I you don't like taking points off board unless there's more time where you have a chance to score. But sometimes when you're playing an opponent that scores a lot of points, a lot of those are affecting decisions that you need to make. And I'm sure you would rather have seven than three. Without question, because we knew they were going to have the ball coming out in the second half. But our defense rose up to the occasion and only gave up a field goal that first drive of the second half. You know, so coming out, uh, you know, your first quarter was maybe the best quarter you played all season, but it's a 60-minute game. So what do you tell your players? Do you have to really explain to them what you guys need to do? No, I think our kids know. You know, we got to, you know, for offense, it's about first downs. First downs turn into touchdowns. So we put ourselves behind the stick. And, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, instead of being second and five, second and six, we found out we're a lot of second and ten, so second sure. and nine as we got into it. and a lot of third down plays, a lot of third and long. Uh, so we got to do a better job of putting ourselves in a better situation in the second half. But you have the ingredients, it's just making sure it comes out right, right? But that first half, you know, offensively, defensively, special teams, that's what it needs to look like, especially when you're playing these championship caliber. When you're top seven in the country, those are pretty good football teams. You got to put together a complete 60-minute game. Well, we'll touch on North Dakota, this week's opponent, coming up a little bit later. But when we come back, we'll visit with Ethan Wright, who's in his first year at YSU when Penguin Game Day continues. 